Hello everyone. Welcome to our second demonstration session of stereographic projection and data contouring by GeoOrient Software and StereoNet Software. Scientific Officers Association welcomes you all. After doing the beta diagram, we have to use the pi diagram. We will show the reason and for that we have to open the data source text file fold 2 we are taking you can see the first row of the data file is left as blank and total 68 number of data so with a moderately good confidence level we will do the analysis so we have opened the fold 2 data file you know the data format is ok now when we will click on the ok button we will see that one message is coming that is one invalid data have been detected and have not been plotted don't worry this is the blank data one so this is the distribution of the poles of the bedding because this one points only tab is already clicked by default if you want to see the beds click here and see all the beds if you want to see the intersection click here and see the numerous intersections between the beds since there are 68 beds there are 2278 intersections beta diagram deals with the intersection of beds or planes and pi diagram deals with the data contouring so in this case the, since the intersection number are too much so we cannot use the beta diagram here pi diagram is becoming useful now if you want the contour you have to click on the contours here see these are the contours there are several process of contour generation based on the statistical methods so you don't go to the detail of that this is the gridded density if you want a better look of the contours you have to click on the tab contour density and increase the density so let us increase the density let us increase to more to 110 click anywhere on the diagram so this is the density and the contours are of better view and now we have to click on the fit girdle see the beta axis tab is showing 1 and 181 that means the beta axis plunge is 1 towards 181 and this great circle is representing the calculated girdle which is perpendicular to the beta axis the beta axis actually represents the fold axis while the profile plane is represented by the calculated girdle this kind of bimodal distribution is called strongly girdle distribution since the poles are perpendicular to the planes so here eastern poles or eastern contours represents the western limb and the western poles represents actually the eastern limb now since it is a fold data if you want to see the average orientation of the two limbs you have to click on the girdle one tab when it becomes brown deep brown color then you have to move your cursor to the maxima of any contour suppose we are going to the western contour that means the eastern limb and move your cursor to probable nearby maxima point within the maxima contour and then press shift and right click and when you want to plot the western limb then you have to do the same process go to the near maxima point by your cursor and press shift and then right click on the nearest point of the maxima of eastern pole contours which is corresponding to the western limb and just press shift and right click you will get the western limb and if you want to keep different color and style to the different grid circle go to line style click on it select the girdle 1 or girdle 2 in this way as i demonstrated and change the color accordingly as per your choice you can change the width of the grid circle also so we are making the eastern limb as green one western limb as blue and calculated girdle as red now for constructing the axial plane of a fold on stereogram you need to have the fold axis and axial trace since axial plane must pass through the fold axis we and we have it 
on in the form of beta axis we have it but we do not have the axial trace here since we know this fold data is coming from one upright fold upright antiform and synform it is not a neutral fold so we are sure that the axial plane will be acute bisectrix in this case so this is the acute bisectrix area and this is the obtuse bisectrix area so axial plane will run through the acute bisectrix so there is no complexity so let us click on the mean resultant and see this is the axial plane probable axial plane of the fold and now the plotting part if you click on the show statistics app it will print the statistics and then if you want to keep the data number you can click it or you can unclick it if you don't want in the same way the contour statistics you can plot and disappear data description you can write anything here suppose area one and in place of fabric same you can write anything suppose let me write if fold so this is the way you have to operate stereo net georient software if you want to take the output go to print and then make the horizontal and vertical 5 make the size as a 9 and then print let us name it as fold 2 so this is the output you can see in the number of data one percentage has appeared if you recheck from the georient software see the data contour has hampered this one so you have to unclick the data contour before taking print so let us try again i'm redoing the same procedure again and i'm just replacing it and now see there is no problem so this way you can take the output from georient and now comes the use of stereo net software those who are not having georient software they can also use unit and those who are having georient they can also use stereo net for some obvious reasons which i will be showing after opening the stereo net software go to the new blank window so we have the text file data go to file and then click import text file and then select your text file let us select the same text file fold 2 and you have to change the data format select the planes click on the deep and deep detection sign columns deep detection on number two and deep amount is on number one click ok and these are the bits click on calculation and then click on poles now on the right top if you unclick the bits the bit will disappear only the pole plots will be there now move to the plot and then after clicking it go to the contour and click on the all data sets and see the contours are generated to plot the gardens go to the cylindrical based fit and again click all data sets see everything has appeared now if we compare the georient output with the stereo net output let us see side by side this point number three corresponds to the beta axis and number two is the intersection between the min and calculated gardel remember number two is not representing the true deep of calculated gardel it is the intersection between the mean or the axial plane and the calculated gardel or profile plane one thing you can see the georient generated contours are quite good quite better in quality in comparison to the stereo net software so it is advisable to use georient software for taking output of the contours of poles but stereo net software has several other advantages suppose you click on any pole it will show which pole you are clicking on and its attitude and its corresponding plane and another practical problem let us open in the uh, paint and suppose you have two sets of cystocity or foliations in any area and which are at acute angle so you cannot identify everywhere in field which one is s1 which one is s2 suppose the combination is such that 
either it can be s1 or it can be s2 now it is not written on any foliation that it is s1 or s2 you have to interpret so in this case stereo net can be useful uh, we are showing you how in such cases if you have the corresponding fold axis suppose s1 will be folded by f2 fold and s2 will be folded by f3 folds so in that case if you know such cases suppose you know the corresponding fold axis then stereo net can help you in a great way suppose within this set of 68 data you have s1 and s2 both but you cannot differentiate it now since if you have the f2 data which corresponds to s1 and s2 is axial plane of that second generation of fold but the poles of s1 will give you the f2 axis then by clicking and unclicking in stereo net software you can differentiate the s1 and s2 planes let me unclick 1 to 4 and 13 to 15 number of data and if we again go to the plot and then to the cylindrical base bit unclick the all data set and click again now the refreshed cylindrical base bit will show you a different orientation of 0.3 which is corresponding to the beta axis or fold axis see again we are unclicking more data we are deselecting them and see the beta axis has changed more so by doing this trial and error method you can select your compatible data set of s1 planes by selecting which data set out of that that 68 data you get your nearby observed you can get your beta axis which matches with the field observations suppose the observed fold axis is plotted here so by clicking and unclicking you have to check the three will move to that part or beta axis moves to that part the present data set will probably in many cases represent the corresponding poles or suitable poles so then you can have more confidence on those data set that these are my s1 data this process is not universal but in some cases you make it help or you have a better prediction or differentiation about the undifferentiated measured data from field so in after getting the proper data set you can change or you can make another notepad file or excel file by selecting only those data those useful s1 data and rest will be on the s2 which will be handy in case of f3 folds so this is the way you can utilize the stereo net software but for getting better control you have to check out the georient software only and then you can do another thing uh, for taking better output in georient software just take the print screen and paste in uh, paste it on the just take the print screen and paste it on the paint and then do the necessary operations and this way you can take better jpeg output of your plots so this is the way you can do the analysis of folded structures in georient or stereo net software thank you for now for being with us and keep supporting scientific officers association geological survey of india's youtube channel for spreading the knowledge in earth sciences thank you thank you all